I am so delighted again to come to share the word of God. Who can remind me what we talked about the last time? God what? God your heart. That was what we talked about the last, uh, the last time I was speaking. So we are still going to continue. So we are going to talk about God your heart part B. It is part B. So I decided that I had not told you part, that the other one was part A. So I just decided by myself that this one would be part B. And I prayed and God uh, affirmed that let's talk about, you know, uh, this part B. If you remember, and because there are some of us maybe were not here, uh, uh, part A, we talked about why it is important to guard your heart. In fact, we started by looking at uh, whales. If you remember, we talked about the whales. And we said that wells were guarded very much because of what came out of them, or out of the wells. And I remember sharing that when I was growing up in Western Kenya, we had a well. And this well had, you know, it was so much protected, there was lock and key. And the reason was to make sure that whatever is inside the well stays pure. And I told you that, you know, sometimes some of us like me, I was not allowed to, 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 get, to hold the key. Because I always, I would have wanted to go inside the well to find out what, what is happening. In, where is this water coming from? That is what I told you. And so the well was very protected. Right? That is what we say. That it was very well protected. So that whatever comes from inside remains pure. And we say that the wells are, were or are a representation of something. I remember we talked about the wells were, are, 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 you know, were a representation you know, of what comes out of us. We say that because... We have something in us that is very important. And I remember we talked about Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23 that says that above everything else, guard your heart. Do you remember that? That guard your heart because out of it flows the issues of life. Right? That is what we said. Out of it flows, just like in that well, out of it flows water. And water is very critical for, human li for, for, for our living, isn't it? And so even out of it comes, out of the heart comes issues of life. If you read NLT, it says that it determines the course of your life. Praise the name of the Lord. So we, 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 we talked about the why, the part, part A, I will say we talked about the why, the who, and the when. The why, it's, why it is important to guard our hearts. Because we said, if you look there, we said, the devil constantly targets the heart. Because it is extremely valuable. And it's the source of everything you do. And we said, if you remember, there was the demonstration of the house that I built somewhere in Mariaini. You remember? And we said that one of the mistakes I did is I dug a, 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 what is it called? Septic. Near the house, isn't it? And the water started getting under the foundation slowly by slowly. The inside of the house is beautiful. You remember that picture? It is beautiful. You go inside and you're like, wow. Daniel. But under, there is water seeping slowly by slowly. And it is getting weaker and weaker. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is how the devil targets our hearts. To make it weaker, it doesn't come like pa. It is slowly by slowly. We say that. And it is some, a lot of times it is unnoticeable. You don't know. So externally we say it, all may seem well. But internally, the moral and spiritual pollution of our times could be happening. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. That externally it all could look so well, my friend. And I, I say, I'm, I, I have been, I have been, 
I, I, I am confessing now. I have been a praise and worship for a long time, but I have not joined the, the worship team. But it is possible to dance and sing and praise God external, and we are saying, yes, the power, that worship was powerful. But internally, the moral degradation of our times is entering. Praise the name of the Lord. It is possible to bring this powerful word of God and everybody is saying, yes, we were blessed and you know that Terry, you spoke so powerfully. But internally, there are things that are happening. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what we talked about. And we actually quoted, who can remember the, 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 the guy we quoted? We quoted somebody called Gordon MacDonald. In his book, uh, Ordering Your Private World, he says, external public world is easier to deal with it is much more measurable it is visible it is expandable it is the part of our existence existence easiest to evaluate in terms of success hello it is the you know we can evaluate you we have you know people called monitoring and evaluation specialists do we have any here they do evaluation it is possible to evaluate the success, the popularity, the wealth, the implementation of strategy and beauty. Our inner world is more spiritual in nature. He, here is a center in which choices and values can be determined. Where solitude and reflections by, might be pursued. It is a place for conducting worship and confession. Listen, listen to what he's, he concludes. He says, a place where the moral and spiritual pollution of the times need not to penetrate. That is Gordon MacDonald. And then, if you remember, we went ahead and looked at the people who guard their hearts. And people who do not guard their heart. And we compared two people in the Bible. If you remember, we compared John and who? And Saul. King Saul. Right? We said that it is possible to start cold. I'm just reminding us because I want to go to part B and I want to make sure that we are flowing together, right? That it is many of us start from being called and end up being driven people. That, that if you do not guard your heart, you will start as a person who is called. Utaanza viema na utamaliza vibaya. Ama utamaliza kwa mwili. We looked at two people. The first one was John the Baptist. You remember? And, and we read, I, I, I believe, uh, John 3.27. When, when, we, we, when, when John the Baptist is talking, I think we said John the Baptist alikuwa meletewa story. You know people have stories, eh? People have what? Stories. So I imagine there is a conversation between John the Baptist and the people who have come with stories. These people have come and, and they are telling John the Baptist, by the way, there is somebody amekuja na anachukua kazi yako. You remember that? There is somebody has come and it is like he's taking your work. It is like people are now not sticking with you. In fact, they told him utakosa watu wakubatiza. But John the Baptist if you remember, let's put John 3 uh, 27 verse that uh, tw uh, John 3:27. Uh, if you can put it for us, just to jog your mind a bit. John 3, uh, verse 27. If you can get it. Aha! Uh -huh. I told you he was speaking to people. So I don't know if there are people who bring you stories and, uh, and uh, I did this. So, but now he's answered. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. That is what he said. Then he continues and said, he, he, he continues and says in verse 29, if you can go to, to, no, 28, sorry, 28. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. I am not the, somebody has come with stories and he is responding to them. And then he says, he who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who understands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bride's, bridegroom voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. So some people have come with news to tell John the Baptist that Jobiako ni kama in 
Naisha. There is somebody else who has come and that is Jesus. And this man is relaxed. He understands the mission. He understands why he came. He came to prepare the way for the Messiah. He was not the Messiah. Because of guarding his heart, he knew his mission on earth was to prepare the way. And when that time came, he, he, he was so convinced. And he tells them using an example of Wasimamizu Harusi. You know, ukiwa unasimamia Harusi, who is supposed to shine? The bridegroom. Isn't it? It will be so surprising if the way when you are a standard, you are a standard of a wedding, and you have decided today you are the one who is going to shine. Eh? Actually, that is what John the Baptist is telling them. I am I am here, I am here, and I have heard the voice of the bridegroom. And it is his time. Raise the name of the Lord. Because he understood his mission. Now, people who guard their hearts stick to their mission. They understand their mission. That is what we said. They know exactly who they are and who they are not. They know their identity. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why Bwana Harusi anafaa vayas utitofauti na wengine. Isn't it? Because it is his time, right? Wewe unasimamia alafu umekuja umevaa vizuri sana. Kwa harusi yangu. Umeva kunishinda. Hello? He understood his... Ask your neighbor, are you still in the mission? Ama uli... You, you went aside. Or oh, ask them, do you know who you are? You know John had an unwavering commitment. On the other side, there is this other guy is called Saul. Saul anafikia wakati, you know, he decides, you know, uh, I know much. I know much more, isn't it? Kwanza, ana, 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 you, if, you, if you remember, there is a time when, um, when they were going, when they were preparing for war, isn't it? And then Saul decides, huyu Samuel, in fact, amezeeka, hata amechelewa. And, and, the, and Bishop spoke to us very powerfully last Sunday, second service, about taking responsibility, right? And Saul decided, now, this guy's, this guy, Samuel, is late. And he decides to do what? To offer, I love Samuel, Samuel comes and I'm to tushafa, tushafanya. Because of not understanding the mission. Because he did not guard his heart. You know, if you understand the mission, we said, you know, if you, are, you, you guard your heart, you will know the mission, like John the Baptist. My mission is to prepare the way. Two, you will know exactly who you are and who you are not. Your identity. And three, we said, you, have, you will have unwavering commitment to the mission even when, they, when things uh, seem not to be going. Even when jo the job is going, like John the Baptist's job was going. Inaenda, lakini he sticks to the mission. Praise the name of the Lord. He tells these guys, you know, I am, I am happy just to hear the voice. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, the, I told you last time that the reason why some people have gone ahead to do what they are doing is because they have left the mission and they still want to, to the, the anointing has left, the calling is no more. You remember I talked to you about this guy who, who was an electrician. I told you there is an electrician who was called by God and he was doing a lot of miracles and then Akafika Mahali, he he, 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 in sort of, in, because of, you know, focusing on himself, the anointing left, but he needed to keep up with that, with that fire, isn't it? So because he was an electrician and the anointing has left, he needed to make sure people continue falling. Do you remember that? And what did he decide to do? He decided, because he's an, an elewa stima vizuri. He's stima, an elewa. So he decided to have another young boy. Who was behind the curtain? And what he will do, he, he came up and said, you know what? When, when Moses wanted to uh, meet Jesus, he removed his shoes. So you, all of you, when you're coming at the altar, you'll be removing your shoes. But there is somebody there. Ameweza kupima voltage. Yastima. Then anasema, receive. And the other guy is connecting. 
electricity. It is not, it is laughable, but it is what's happening. Until somebody who I'm a big one, big one, a steam, another electrician, he a kaona in guvu. Easy a munguini steamer. He to na pigwa shock. Because you, this guy left. And that is what we talked about last time. I want you to ask your neighbor, do you know your mission? And are you still in that mission? That is what we talked about. The dangers of, of, of not, you know, uh, not understanding, you know, your, your mission and not guarding your heart. Yani, chochote kinakuja, isn't it? Anything that comes. And so today, I want to talk about the how. How can we guard our hearts? And I want to suggest four things to help us guard our hearts. Because we have said it is so important to guard your heart. Because out of it flows the issues of life. Because out of it, it determines the cause of your life. That is what New Living Translation says. The first thing that I want to suggest to yourself, you need to take care of what you're hearing. You can write here or hearing. What are you hearing? What are you listening to? In fact, ask yourself, which voice have you chosen to hear or listen to? Which voice have you chosen to hear or listen to? Are you listening to the voice of God or the voice of the people? In the Bible, in Exodus 31 and 32, Yeah, uh -huh. Exodus 31, 18. And when he had heard, who is this Moses? When he had, had made an end of speaking with him, this is God has spoken with Moses on Mount Sinai. He gave Moses two tablets of the testimony, tablets of stone written with the finger of God. If you continue verse 32, you will read the story of his brother. His brother is called who? Aaron. Let's read about Aaron. Now, uh -huh, if, you, if you can still put for us. Now, when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. There are two brothers listening to voices. One has just had an encounter with the Lord in the mountain Sinai. He has listened to who? God. He has heard his voice and he has even come with 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 the tablets with the commandments there is the other brother on this other side he is listening to who people he is listening to people and the people are telling him you know what this thing has delayed you know what you do just let's make you know uh let's make things that we can worship because moses has delayed and so people start bringing, you know, uh, I don't know what about earrings because I, I, I can remember they, they talked about earrings. That uh, ladies removed what? Earrings. And they started making what? What else? Did they, 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 people, you know, started removing whatever they were removing. Jewel, jewelries. Eh? And if it was the ladies. No, uh, that's a joke. So jewelries and all that, isn't it? People started removing all those things so that they worship. I am talking about two people. One is listening to, has listened to God. The other one is listening to who? And they, you know, people will tell you your miracle has delayed. My friend, my sisters, somebody will tell you, umechelewa kuo, kuolewa, si u nini, si u, si kuna wana umewengi, na kupata mtoto ni five minutes. Si ni mtoto tu na itaji kulea. Those are voices, isn't it? People will tell you your miracle has done what? Doctors, and some of these things will even come you know, very convinc convincing. There is a lady, a sister, worship, you know, a worship uh, sister who had really stayed pure and, you know, and she was at the age of, you know, getting married and, and she gets sick. She gets sick. She, not, she doesn't have somebody. And a gonjeka, then will I gonjeka? sana. When she was taken to the hospital and, and the doctor examined and the doctor came with the, the question that the doctor asked him is, do you have a child? And uh, the sister said, no, I don't have a child. 
and uh, would you want a child? She wondered, where is this going? Uh, in the near future. And, 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 the, and she said, yes, of course. And she said, now, you have outgrown, fib they are called fibroids. You have outgrown fibroids that require to be removed as a matter of urgency. If you want a child, you have one year. How many, how many months does it take to get a child? Nine. You have how many? One year to get a child because we will need to remove some things that will, will prevent you to get a child. So she came and told me, you know what? I've been given one year to get... I don't have a man. I don't have a boyfriend. But I will need a child. What is your advice, Daniel? No, that is just... But she needed an advice. Because, my friend, we are laughing, but it was so stressing to her. Because you have been... It is so... It can be... It can be so convincing. My friend, what voices are you hearing? What voices are you hearing? The voices can be very convic convincing. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. But will you walk by sight or by faith? Hallelujah. Will you say, I believe in the Lord that heals? I believe in God. If God decided that I will have a child, he will give me a child. But I will give my testimony. Praise the name of the Lord. What voice are you hearing? You know Samuel? In 1 Samuel chapter 3, he had voices how many times? He had three times. Praise the name of the Lord. And he kept going to who? Eli. Now Eli was helpful because after the third time, Eli said, ah, now, when you hear the third time, say, speak Lord, your servant is listening or hearing. Friends, the, the voices we choose to listen will have a direct impact on the projections of our lives. And I'm telling you, there are so many voices today. There are so many voices today. What are you listening? Are you listening to the voice of God? You know the source of voices today? One is social media. Last week, uh, Pastor Millicent, you really made me laugh. Because you said, you know sometimes you want to study your Bible on your phone, and then a notification comes, and it tells you, you know, you, you have woken up in the morning to study the Bible. And then, what you know what the notification tells you? That seven ways to know your wife is cheating on you. That's what you said, isn't it? That is not mine. Seven ways to know your wife is? Hey, oh, for, uh, for those who are not married, you know, five ways to get a girlfriend. And, and you had woken up in the morning to study the word of God. The voices. Tell your neighbor voices. Even the mainstream media today is a voice. And you know, there are days I decide, like on Wednesday last week, I decided I'm not going to watch news. Intentionally, because I know the voices that are going to come to me. You know, because, you know, the enemy is really ready to, to mess us up, isn't it? The devil, you know, you, you watch news and you're like, from this one, there is this accident. And then after the accident, there is this other mother who, I don't know who killed who. After that, there is, and you're asking yourself, where are, what is happening? Those voices still come in. And, and you know when something is repeated so much eh, to you, it becomes a reality. You start seeing the country. You start seeing that there is no hope. Isn't it? Even when you are, you are, you are, your intentions were good, you start, hey, by the way, it acts. By the way, I'm not serious. By the way, it acts. You start doing calculations on your salary and you're telling yourself, after me, I'm not to demonstrate. What voices are you listening to? We are personal circumstances. You know, you sometimes your personal circumstances will start speaking to you. They start speaking to you about things. You know, and you start hearing. And like my sister, I have told you, I have told you about my sister. I know some of you want me to conclude that story. Right? My sister, the circumstances are practical. They are real. Right? I know my audience when I see them, praise the Lord. And I know my audience when they want to see, they are telling, and the lay, ile uliwachia wapi? Uliwacha hanging. Or the environment or people. Praise the name of the Lord. You know they will speak to you. I have said this as you write down a note 
on hearing on and listening i must be deliberate on choosing the voice i want to hear or listen to i must be deliberate come on in social media even there was a time i i i saw that people are talking about oh some of you are still writing uh -huh. i must be deliberate on choosing the voice i want to hear or listen to you know there is a time uh i i people are talking about tiktok 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 i decided hey let me download it on my phone i downloaded it on the phone then the first video that i saw i eh, thought to myself i think i just need to immediately delete this thing and that's what i did delete it isn't it people may tell you oh you are you know i'm a communication specialist and you want to hear what you know you want to 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 know what is happening in technology but if this thing is not the right thing for me delete it praise the name of the lord if that Facebook is not the right thing for you, Tor! Praise the name of the Lord. I know we, we stream our services. And so I don't want to, 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 to tell you we told Sababu Kuna services pale. But I want you to discern. If this thing is not the right thing for me, I will remove it. I will come to the service and listen to the sermon. Praise the name of the Lord. Because we must make the... Friends, let me tell you, the enemy is out to destroy, to infiltrate our hearts through what we are hearing. And you start hearing and then you listen. You know hearing, you can hear something, isn't it? But now you start focusing. You know, you, you, you meet a man driving so fast to go and watch News Year 7. You're wondering, why is this guy driving so fast? You know, I don't want to miss news. And maybe that news is the one that is putting a lot of things in you. Number two, sight. What are you seeing? What are you seeing? I think the, the Bible in Matthew 18 verse 9 talk about if your eyes causes you to sin, what do you do? It? What do you do? Gorge it. Remove it. Isn't it? Right? If you read the book of 2 Samuel 11 verse 2b, I, I quoted there, so I, I just read as I, I quoted. And from the roof, he saw from the roof he saw a woman washing herself and the woman was very beautiful to look upon did he hear he what and then things got out of hand you know what happened isn't it i don't want to 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 to, to go through that story but you know what happened isn't it that even led to the death of uriah Friends, what are you seeing? Have you made it that now your sight is so important than the faith? What does the Bible say about walking by from the book of 2 Corinthians 5, 7? It says, we walk by faith and not by sight. What comes to you? Is it sight or faith? Do you want to see for you to believe? Or you, do you believe and you don't let sight be coming, isn't it? Praise the name of the Lord. I want to ask you what comes first and where have you fixed your eyes? Where have you fixed your eyes? Have you fixed your eyes on becoming a popular person or a famous person? Because nowadays, you know I am seeing even women with families on social media trying to be fame. I am seeing men with families trying to go for likes, comments, and what are, what are people? People are on, on phone. And I wake up to a phone and go, and I can't like refresh. Right? And by the way, there is even a, a research that has been done that is, there is a, a direct. Now, young people are getting pressure. Pressure. Blood pressure. You think this pressure is coming from where? It is coming from social media. Because I'm a post, I'm going to be a and she starts hating herself. When, what did I do? When, what did I say? And keeps on with, I don't know if I'm speaking to some of you who are on social media, but sometimes we want to look at what are people saying, isn't it? What are the likes? What are people saying about my beauty? You know, I, I have taken this nice picture. I have put it there. Isn't it? Oh, maybe I'm speaking to myself, but I think I look at some, I said I know my audience. I look at some of you, and I know that sometimes you put your picture there and you are wondering, what are, why are people not commenting? Have they not seen? Friends, you will get pressure. 
And that pressure will not be coming from Sijui Onini. It's because you are, people are looking for entertainment. People are looking for pleasure. Now, there is something that David said. This same David, he said, in Psalms 121, verse 1, that I look upon the, where does my help? My help comes from the Lord. Friends, what are you seeing? I am asking. And I have noted down in my, in my, in my message, you must be careful on what you allow your eyes to see. Praise the name of the Lord. You must be careful. Last time I remember when I was preaching here, I said, you know, you can make a worship song Mzuri, if you remember, isn't it? Nimejiambia, okay, now I, I want to, to hear it again and again. I have a problem. When I hear a good song, I want to play it. I can play it the whole day. Until Sasa Nizeme, I think Nimeto. So Nimekimbia, Nimeenda kwa YouTube in my house and I want to listen to this uh, uh, voice and then uh, to this uh, song, and then Nikaweka, then the video ikaanza vizuri. Then katikati waka stop. Kashindo what's happening. Then they brought in another video of people dancing and they were dancing half naked in my worship song. And you know what they said? Your video will continue after this. So that I have to watch that one and then now go back to my video. Friends, you may be very spiritual. But if that one you finish with those dancing, women dancing and you know, and, and you know dancing and dancing, and then this other worship song now in Akuja Vizuri, you have absorbed two things in your mind. And that is dangerous. Right? Sometimes it is even the other ones start. Unaweka video kwanza kuna advert yenye unaambiwa lazima ifanye nini? Imalizike. Your advert is just dirty. Hello? Number three, thoughts. Remember, I've said, I'm talking to you about how. How? Ask your, your neighbor, what is in your, in your mind? Ask them, what is in your mind? You know, tunaweza kuwa tunaubiri yote mbaka na shout, lakini kuna mutu wakili yake ya hiko hapa. There is something in his mind. Either rent him a car two months. Ama, Kuna message, boyfriend, girlfriend, ama husband, alimutumia in the morning, bado inamusumbua. Ask your neighbor, what is in your mind? L listen, it gets through the eye, through the ear, it goes to the mind. Then it trickles to the heart. And I'm not talking about the heart that pumps blood. I am talking about the inner person. I'm talking about the private world. I'm talking about the, the, the you. Praise the name of the Lord. So it, it has gone through where? The eye, it said by, we said hearing, isn't it? It has gone through the eye. It has gone to the mind. And now, now in the mind, what happened your way in a car? Kwanzaa. Now before it gets into you. Praise the name of the Lord. Believe that's why the Bible says, uh, as, a, as a man thinketh, so he is. So is he. You become what you think most of the time. And I want you to know that your mind can only accommodate either a positive or a negative thought at a time. You cannot have fear and courage at the same time. Praise the name of the Lord. You cannot have fear and courage. One has to give way to the other. Praise the name of the Lord. If it is fear that you have, fear of doing, you know, this business, fear of doing, you have to say fear I do not know you. I need the courage of God. And now you take the courage and say, I am going to do this business. Praise the name of the Lord. You, you want to study? You want to do a course? You have to tell yourself, I don't have fears, but I don't fear because I know my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Because you become what you think. Hello? You become what you think. It is, in the, it is in the mind. If it is unforgiveness that you are harboring in your thoughts, you have to tell yourself, I have to forgive because I was forgiven. You replace unforgiveness with forgiveness. If it is somebody who did something wrong to you and you hate that person, you have to tell yourself, I am born again. I will love this person as the Bible tells me. I will replace what is in my thoughts. Whatever this person did to me, I will replace it with forgiveness. 
I will replace it with love. That is what the Bible says. Because Christ loved us. He sent his only begotten son. The Lord loved us. He sent his begotten son. And so you must love. Praise the name of the Lord. You can only accommodate one thought. If it is forgiveness, it has to be forgiveness. Not the two of them. Praise the name of the Lord. As a man thinking, so he is. Friends, what you are allowing, you, I know you, and I am saying social media because as a communication person, I know social media is something. And a lot is happening in the social media world that if you do not, if you, you are not careful, if you are not careful, you will watch things that you are not supposed to be watching. You will start thinking about things that you are not supposed to be thinking. Friends, things will enter your mind. Things will enter your mind. I, am, I have decided that I will not allow myself. There is even a time I, I used to watch. I, I, I'm okay. I watch news. Not even I used to. I watch news. But as I said, there are times I decide I am not going to watch news because I do not want to see things to get into my mind that will start, I will start questioning God. I will start asking him, what is, what is happening? And, and finally, I said four things. And I want, as a good class, I will ask a question on if you remember the four things. The first one was hearing. What have you? What are you? The second one was what are you? The third one was my thoughts. What are you thinking? What's in your mind, my friends? What have you allowed to replace courage? Is it fear? Is it unforgiveness? Is it hate? Is it this wrong relationship that you have allowed to stick into your mind. And number four, identity. I want to, 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 to suggest to you that I, your identity in Christ is so important. And the question that I asked is, do you know who you are? And I remember uh, this was preached to us by Bishop some time back about do you know who you are? Jay, ask your neighbor, Jay, what you are wearing in Nani? What you are where, where do you know who you are? Because, yes, we have said you may be careful about your eyes, isn't it? But sometimes, you may see. Praise the name of the Lord. You may. Because we live in the society where there is so much things to see. So you may see. Or even you may what? Hear what you are not supposed to hear. Or even a thought may come. Of what you're not supposed to be thinking about. But I am asking you, do you know your identity? Even if these things happen, do you know who you are? Praise the name of the Lord. And, and I remember, you know, um, a Bishop uh, 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 talking to us about three or four things that I captured. And it came from the book of Genesis 39 verse 1 to 23. The story of Joseph. The story of Joseph, and I'm, we are not going to read all that, but if you, you get to some time, read about this story. You know, among, last time I told you that there are people, that, when the Bible talks about the handsomeness of people, I think they must have been very handsome. I just think, isn't it? For the Bible to say, somebody was, remember we talked about Saul? We said when he was starting, by, by the time he was being a, 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 a sele a selected or appointed by God, the Bible says he was he was tall. He was dark. Was he? No, I think dark is dark. He was tall. He was. The Bible talks about describes his shoulders, isn't it? And he talks about handsome. There is another guy in the Bible. He's called who? Joseph. Also, the Bible talks about his. Look at the man next to you. Say you are handsome. Like Joseph. Now. Wow. Thank you. I. He smiled. Our brother. A smile because it's the wife who said, isn't it? So maybe it has taken a while, but tell them again you're handsome. I saw the smile was so nice. Yeah, <laughs> but that is a by the way. The story of Joseph, you know, Joseph was a lot. By the time it is happening, the lady, you know, Anamushika, it, is, it has taken a process, isn't it? At the end of the day, I think he was cleaning up that house or whatever he was doing. He, he's a lot. There is this lady, isn't it? He is alert. And, and I remember Bishop said, you must, be, you must stand guard. You must be alert. 
again you must be alert to identify the temptation wewe ukizubaa tu useme ah ni upendo you know uh, you know this girl you are married this girl in the office smiles at you and you start saying you know there is this peop- there is this saying that i have heard people saying is my office by my friend is your office by is my office b i am telling you this guy was alert and when it came to that mo- defining moment when it came to that de- defining moment he said no he was alert praise the name of the lord my friend you are married you are going for a conference in 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 outside the country whether a man or a woman you are going for a conference and you are smiling smiling around and somebody is smiling at you you must be alert because people are sinning people who are born again they they are sinning because they are not alert eh wanajiambia ni tatubu or they are telling themselves ah i mean what about just you know just allowing you 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 you, you, you yourself you know i'm after all nobody is seeing me i was traveling uh in april uh i was traveling out the outside the country i was going to the us and and um, I, i reached heathrow airport you have to exchange heathrow so you have to exchange the the you know uh, to take another flight to dallas and so uh we were walking the air, the the the, play, the the airport is so big we were walking with this uh, gentleman uh after after tumeshuka and we discovered we were moving a lot together so we started uh having a conversation and then he said uh you know i told him yeah i'm daniel kamau and he said oh i am also kamau huh? when two kamaus meet <laughs> they will turn to what so we started to speak in kikuyu and we we almost became friends so, hey 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 kwanatia you know uh, today is, is african sunday allow me to 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 hey kwanatia hey, hey you know do you stay in the us i said no i don't stay in the us uh no i'm just going for a conference and then i will be back and we talked and talked and you know what when we went somewhere he was very generous he told me oh uh, let's go uh, buy you uh, a drink initially i thought it was coffee Initially I thought it was what? So, hey, ah, this is a good guy, isn't it? I am in Heathrow and my friend I am not seeing any deliverance person. You saw? <laughs> I am not seeing. The only person I am seeing is God, isn't it? And myself. So it hey, we we I followed him and we went he was so he was in the US he asked dollars, you know? He asked dollars and uh, 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 he asked me utakunywa gani? Time naona imesonga isn't it so you must be alert right okay if you want to and my audience today really wants me to finish stories if you want to know as i said my friend i do not drink praise the name of the lord looks like some of us because we are so intentional on hearing this thing you are you are you have been in that situation i said i do not drink Praise the name of the Lord. And we left that that uh, whatever it is uh, they sell you know liquor at the at the airport. We left there. Praise the name of the Lord. Because there is something more deeper. Because there is something I believe in that he doesn't know. Praise the name of the Lord. Who are your friends? You must be alert to identify the temptation. You must remember your identity in Christ number 2. Remember your identity in Christ and then number 3 act with speed act with speed if it is taking off take off if it is taking off you want to take off if it is something that is you know you know this thing is sinning you want to take off so i took off but he followed me then i was able to talk to him praise the name of the lord and even in the in the, in the plane we were able to uh, to share friends friends do you know your identity in Christ are you a person who friends can waver you are you in a relationship and you are there just because you know uh, you want to keep up with the trends you know are you are you there and the devil is uh, speaking to you and asking you to do some things and you know very well 
that these things are not right. This thing is not right in the eyes of God. Are you at a place where if somebody, if I came to your office and said, Bwana Sifiwe, will you say amen? Or will you say ndio? Or will you say sana sana? Hello? <laughs> I don't know if I'm speaking to... You know, I told you last time, that I said somebody was across the road and I said, hey, he, had, he was with some people. I said, Bwana Sifiwe sana, because me, tukikutana na yetu na juana, isn't it? Nimtumishi. And he said, sana sana! I was expecting an amen. Friends, I know we are laughing, but some of you, if I came to your office, maybe I said, Bwana Sifiwe, people will start asking, Nani anambiwa Bwana Sifiwe? Hello? Friends, four things. What are you hearing? What are you seeing? What are you thinking about? What is in your mind? And what is your identity in Christ? Do you know your identity in Christ? Stick to Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Philippians chapter 3 verse 14. I press on toward the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let's press on my friends. It may not be easy, but we will press on. We will press on. Tell your neighbor we will press on. Even with the economy, we will press on because we know who we are. Praise the name of the Lord. Even with the difficulties, we will press on because we know our identity in Christ is not determined by the local currency, is determined by the faith that we have in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Feel like preaching. Feel like preaching. But time is up. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. We can just rise up on our feet and tell God to help us. Because this one, it's only God who can help us. Right? It is only God who can help us. It is only God who can help us. Just, just tell God something. Just tell God on those things that you have heard. What you are hearing. What you are seeing. What you are, what you are speaking. What you are thinking about. What is, what's your identity? You may even have fallen at some point even when I was speaking. And you realize that I have, have fallen in this sense. Ask God to forgive. Just go before God. And ask God, God help me. Father Lord, help me. Dear Lord, help me. Help me, Lord, to stay on course, to stay on course, to guard my heart. Lord, may you help us. Lord, may you help us. Lord, may you help me. I pray that you will help me, O oh God. That I will stick to the mission. That I will stick to the mission. That I will stick to the mission. I will be committed. I will be committed to my calling. I will guard my heart. 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 From the environmental circumstances and the issues that are happening, I will guard my heart. I will guard my heart in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word that has come to us powerfully that has reminded us on the need to guard our hearts that has reminded us on the need Lord to keep our identity in Christ Father I am praying that you help us that we will stick to the mission that we will stick to the calling that God we will not be driven people but we will stick to that calling Help us, O oh God. Help us, O oh God. It is not easy. But you promise to be with us. May you help us. In the name of Jesus. Lord, there are people who are here who are sick. I want to speak healing in the name of Jesus. There are people here who need a breakthrough in finances. I want to speak provision in the name of Jesus. Father, there is somebody who needs capital to start their business. I am declaring that they are getting that capital this week in the name of Jesus. There are people who need customers for their businesses. I declare that they will get those customers. There are people, oh God, who need healing in their marriages. I declare that their marriage is getting healed in Jesus' name. There are people, oh God, who are struggling in relationships. I declare stability in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you because you are the Lord who hears us. Lord, you remind us we will not walk by, by sight, but we, will, we choose to walk by faith. And that faith, which is the substance of things hoped for, Lord, shall work out for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.